Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So today we're going to be covering the best Shopify fonts. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So why is font important for your Shopify store? There's actually two reasons for it. So if you care about your Shopify store fonts, it's about efficiency and engagement. That's the two reasons. Now, a correctly chosen font means that there's minimal effort needed to read website copy, such as button text, product descriptions, taglines, you name it, anything that you could see with a font, that's what that means with minimal effort. Now, you have to make sure that your fonts are consistent throughout the website. You can't have different fonts. Usually that doesn't make the website clean. It doesn't give that sort of clean look. Make sure you find one that matches the overall de design of the website. This encourages your audience or visitors to read your website, be it a blog or storefront. Doing so will make your store more memorable and give you that competitive advantage. So uh, what we're going to be looking at is some of the best Shopify fonts to use for your website. Now, do you know that these are optional? Of course, you don't have to use them if you don't want to. It just gives you a certain idea on how it's been used on official websites already. So we'll go ahead and take a look at our first font. So here's our first font. It's called Montserrat. Now, this would be great for menus or CTAs. It's got about 18 variants and it's also av available on the Shopify font library. It's best mainly to pair it with Helvetica or Roboto. Now, Montserrat, that's the example there. If you could see it on the background, that is actually the Gymshark uh, website. So you can see with their hero section, that's where they've used it at. It's actually a straightforward yet characteristic sort of font and it's a very engaging font to use for a Shopify store front. However, I do know that some Shopify stores choose not to use Montserrat, but it would be a widely popular choice to use for buttons and menus. So you can see how there, uh, Gymsharks actually used it for their hero section. And they've actually got it paired with their menu. Uh, let me just see if I could show you guys. So you can see with the, the top as well that they've used the Montserrat for women's, men's and accessories. It flows well with the use for their website. We'll go ahead now and take a look at our next font to use. So our next one is Helvetica or Helvetica New. Now, I would say that this would complement any store designs that's got riskier designs. So as you can see, it's got eight variants. It's available on the Shopify font library, but it's only the Helvetica. You would have to download the Helvetica new. And the suggested Shopify font pairings would be Arial or the Crimson. Now I would say that this is the best Shopify font option for those who are wanting to take risks on areas within their store design, since it's like an unusual layout towards color and contrast. That's where you would want to mainly use it for. Uh, it's said that many graphic designers actually use or opt out for the Helvetica uh, for their first projects for this exact reason. It's modern very simplistic and it mainly just makes a statement, a statement on its own. Now you can see that it's been used for a heel and this is how it looks. So they've got their the Helvetica font within the hero section and they're also using it for their header. Now Helvetica new is very similar to Helvetica uh, but it's got better proportions and minor aesthetic improvements. Uh, we don't actually see that with Huel. Uh, they're just using the Helvetica. But overall, it's a great font to use. Nice and simplistic, easy to read as a visitor or a 
uh, for your audience. So would highly recommend to use this font. So we'll go ahead and move on to our next one. So our next one is Proxima Nova. Now, as you can see, it's got 16 variants. It is available in the shop, uh, as it says, is it available in the Shopify font library? That's no. So you'd have to go ahead and download that and upload that into your Shopify store. Now, the suggested Shopify font pairings would be Helvetica New or Nonito. Now, the uh, Proxima Nova is great for highly visual brands. Now, some say that it actually lacks that character, but you can see it's very min uh, minimalistic and it's also elegant. It does complement more other fonts rather than Helvetica New and Nonito. So they're not the only ones that you can complement it with. And it does give that modern look towards any other brands that are willing to use the actual font. Now, this is one of the examples that's been used on it. It's actually called, so this website uh, at the background is Fashion Nova's uh, actual product page. So Fashion Nova has been using the Proxima Nova for their product pages, as you can see. Very easy to read, very simplistic, minimalistic as well for the user to see. So I would say stick this in the books. I would highly recommend to use this sort of font. So our next one here is called Open Sans. Now another very, very popular font to use. As you can see, it's got 10 variants. It's got, um, well, it's available on the Shopify font library, so you don't have to worry about downloading and uploading onto that. And the suggested Shopify font pairings would be Georgia, Lado, Bitter, or Montserrat. Now you would mainly use this within a tech store if you if if you wanted to. Of course, there's other areas where you would use it for. Um, I do know that uh, Open Sans I think is used on Amazon itself and on eBay. Uh, it's mainly just to use for. It's great. It's a great uh, font to use for selling. Of course, it's easy to read. It's uh, they do say that Open Sans is quite characteristic and very pleasant to look at. The font is pretty much loved by gadget and technology stores, so they're the sort of people that would have it on their uh, storefront. Another reason that you may want to use Open Sans is that it has readability in smallest font sizes, so you can even see it there uh, with usually ships in one to two business days and product code, it's starting to get a little bit smaller and it's easier to read. So you could squeeze as many or as much information as you want within your product pages, um, be it on the mobile devices or the desktop. Now, the website in the background is actually called the Gold Pen product page. So that's the actual product page of Gold Pen. So you could take a look for yourselves if you wanna go ahead and visit the website. That's pretty much how it looks. So I would recommend to use Open Sans, so depending how you want to build your website. Our next one here is Roboto, or Roboto Condensed. Now, it's got 18 variants. Uh, it is available on the Shopify font library, so you don't, as a, uh, again, you don't have to worry about downloading and uploading. Uh, the suggested Shopify font pairings would be Nodito, uh, Montserrat, and Laura. Now, the readability is very, very clear as well. It has larger bodies of text, whereas Roboto Condense is more common option for headings, buttons and captions, as you can see. So their heading there is Women's New Arrivals. It's nice and bold. Uh, a lot of people would say that Roboto, uh, the Roboto font family is overused. Uh, so it doesn't add much to the brand identity anymore, as some, some people would say. But you can see that it's actually been used by this website here called Culture Kings. And it's been successfully used. You can see how they use it for categories. Their actual tagline or title there, Women's New Arrivals. So it works fine, works great. Um, it's just trying to pick it out for your website, trying to make it work, trying to make it flow. 
and of course depending depends on the actual design of your website now our next one here is called Lado. now it's got 18 variants it is available on the Shopify font library and the suggested font pairings is quite a few actually Proxim, Proxima Nova, Ubuntu, Georgia, uh, Roboto, Roboto Slab and Roboto Condense. Now uh, as you can see Bodega actually used, that's the name of the website, they, uh, Bodega actually used the font itself. You can see that it's got more spacing as well. It's very soft, pleasant to the eye, easy to read. I would mainly use that towards websites that have say any sort of clothing wear, any sort of products to sell like you know like physical items like uh, the bodega has. So overall it just speaks for itself. Not really much exp uh, ex explanation needs to go into the Lado uh, not much explanation, sorry, uh, needs to go into the Lado font. So overall, I would go ahead and recommend to pick the font for your Shopify front store or for uh, overall for your Shopify store. Our next one there is Futura. Now, as you can see, it's got 13 variants. It is available on the Shopify font library. And the suggested font pairings would be Lado, Op, Open Sans, Trade Gothic and Garmin. Now, it's one of the edgier fonts, I would say. Uh, a little bit more spaced out uh, rather than the Lado that we've seen. You can see how they've used it for their actual logo, which is Teddy Fresh. And within their actual menu item, which is latest release, men, women, accessories, you name it, it's all there. Now, they haven't actually used it within their so, uh, their product description, but you can see how it's been used within the header or the actual, yeah, so the just within the header. Now, it's a very, very minimalistic uh, design, but it's easily memorable as well. So you'll instantly know just by looking at it, uh, since it's nice and bold, it's easy to read. I would say it's one of the better, uh, the better sort of fonts to use. It's actually pretty much a crowd favorite as well. So a lot of people do use this. So it, it's very precise as well within the proportions. And if I haven't said it already, it is very modern looking. It's almost similar to Open Sans. So it has great readability, no matter how much you shrink it. And it's very, very good for mobile optimization. So of course, with the smaller screens, you would want to make sure that the font's easier to read. That's when Futura comes into place. So one of the better fonts to use and that pretty much ties in with the same as Open Sans. So our next one here is Brandon uh, Grotesque. So this one has 12 variants. It isn't in the Shopify font library. So it's something that you would have to download and upload. And the suggested Shopify font pairings would be Verona, Baskerville and Courier. Now, this is a great choice for if you're looking to build a website that's minimalistic and something that you want to have a memorable design, then I would go ahead and select the Brandon Grotesque. Now, you can see how it's been used with Emerald Pool Elegant iPhone 13 case. Now, this store, uh, as you can see from the background, is actually a store called Burger. And they have used the Brandon Grotesque, if you want to go visit their website, throughout all the product pages. I would say it's a very, very lightweight and easy to read font, hence why it's been used by this company. And again, easy to read, uh, very, very nice and clear, and it's very, very minimalistic. So again, not much else reasoning towards using the font itself. I would go ahead and try it out, see how it plays out for your website. Overall, it is a very nice font to use. So guys, that is pretty much it for the video. Of course, there are plenty more fonts to use, uh, but these are the ones that I've covered and I think work great 
for using within a website. Of course, if there is any other fonts that you may, may want me to cover, I can make another video if you, you guys like. Uh, please do let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, I will see you for the next video. Thank you very much.